observers are calling an impressive display of progress. China successfully launched its first willing manned mission into space today. While more than 50 Chinese astronauts have been launched into orbit since the inception of their space program in 1956, former truck driver Zhang Tong was the first to go without being forced. I have committed no crime, nor have I insulted any party leaders. I knowingly volunteered. I want to go. Speaking from the site of the launch, China's National Space Director Sun Lian called the mission a historic step forward for the nation. This is a testament to the progress of the Chinese people. Today we send a man into space, fully conscious and without shackles. China's first manned mission to space occurred when political prisoner Yang Li Wei was knocked unconscious in his cell and awoke to find himself in orbit. The second flight was crewed by two journalists and two college professors. Chinese officials say the willing manned flight is due to improvements in their space program, which now includes food and helmets for their astronauts. A crowd of 2,000 citizens gathered to watch the historic liftoff, many of whom were only mildly coerced into cheering. They didn't need to use attack dogs to get him into the spacecraft. We have come very far. Once soldiers came and took away my father to be an astronaut, they said they would burn our house down if he did not go. This is a much better way. In order to fix any technical problems that may arise while in orbit, Zhang Tong has been provided with a hammer and two nails. We are putting great trust in Zhang Tong. Pending the success of the mission, we may even consider equipment upgrades that will make it possible for shuttles to return to Earth. The space program was initially designed to rid the nation of dissidents, but the program was reimagined as a scientific endeavor when it was discovered that beating people to death was far more cost-effective.